Dreams exist because dreamers exist. In 1904, the businessman Damian Mateu founded the Hispano Suiza automobile factory, along with Mark Bierkicht, a Swiss mechanical genius. The skills and the mutual understanding and respect of these two extraordinary individuals quickly made Hispano Suiza the great symbol of modernity. Under the impulse of Mateo and Bierkicht, the automobiles with internal combustion engines that emerged from a small factory in Barcelona revolutionized the incipient automotive industry of the early 20th century and aroused admiration all over the world. Mateo was a restless, visionary, ambitious, modern entrepreneur. Bierkicht was a prestigious, innovative and creative engineer. They both understood that the automobile would become a revolution and each new model they launched onto the market was a new challenge, a new thrill for them. In those years, Hispano Suiza was a synonym of elegance and reliability. The beautiful styling of the vehicle's bodywork matched the perfection of their engines. Their presence in the Paris motor shows met with great success. And the increase in demand led to a move to more spacious facilities in Barcelona and the creation of a second factory in France outside Paris. The Hispano Suiza company continued to grow. Its range was enlarged with the production of industrial vehicles, buses, trucks and ambulances, in addition to the saloon cars. Little by little, the Hispano Suiza models entered the urban landscape of the world's large cities, becoming emblems of the progress of society. Hispano Suiza cars also became famous in motor races, achieving victories in leading European competitions. The Spanish king, Alfonso XIII, a keen motorist, even became a great ambassador of the company's cars, as did illustrious figures like Coco Chanel, Pablo Picasso, Greta Garbo, and Albert Einstein, among others. In 1914, the First World War broke out, and the Hispano Suiza firm had to face a decisive stage in its development, focusing its activity on the production of aviation engines. The aircraft equipped with Hispano Suiza engines achieved total dominance. In 1915, in tribute to Georges Guinamer, the ace pilot of the French Stork Squadron, Hispano Suiza adopted the Stork symbol as its brand image. During the 1920s and 1930s, the Stork enjoyed a brilliant period which culminated with a huge success. The first Paris-New York flight was made by an aircraft powered by a Hispano Suiza engine. This was also a period of generational handover, with Mikel Mateu becoming the firm's chairman in 1935 on the death of his father, Damian Mateu, the company's founder. In the year 1972, his granddaughter, Carmen Mateu, revitalized the brand. Today, over 100 years later, the dream of the founder, Damian Mateu, remains intact. Four generations of the Suke Mateu family having preserved the spirit of the company. And now, in the year 2019, the firm is producing a new all-electric Hispano Suiza model named Carmen in honor of Carmen Mateo. This car takes its inspiration from the model designed by the famous military pilot André Dubonnet in 1938. Presented at the Geneva Motor Show, it has been created with the same sensibility, solidity and ambition as the first Hispano Suizas. The stalk soars again. Hispano Suiza.